How do? I was out on my motorbike. I thought I'd stop by at the Upper Derwent Valley, have a look at the dams. Um, there's a bit of a drought on at the moment, isn't there? It's, uh, it's quite a bad one. So I think it's the worst one for quite some time. And I'm just rode down the front, round Lady Bower, from Snake Pass, down the side here. And I don't think I've ever been here when it's been this low. So it's famous for the lost villagers, uh, Ashopton, Derwent, um, they went just behind us the other side of that pipeline there that become some of the remains come visible when we do have these low water spells but it's not those villagers that I've come to see today so I led up a little bit further um, up the valley up past Derwent Dam on towards Alden and I'll uh, I'll show you what I've just come to have a look at Why can't people take the rubbish home? I'm amazed just how many bags of rubbish there are and leftover things. So I'm just on the entrance to the old Birch and Lee tin town. So last year, last spring, summer, I think it was July, I was, I was here filming in this location. I came to look at the story of the building of the, uh, the Derwent and Howden dams. And that was a three part series on how they got the stone from the quarry at Grindleford to the dams and the part that the, the Bamford and Howden Railway played in that. So I followed um, the, well it's not really a disused railway because for the most part of it, it's, it's disappeared. A lot of it's under the, the level of water, but there's a couple of features that, that still remained. And when I visited last year, in, uh, it was the end of June, um, there was still quite a bit, well, the reservoirs were pretty much full compared to this year and as a result there's quite a little bit few more interesting things that have become visible you can see that down there those the concrete posts you can see so that's the foundations for the Uzzledon viaduct this is Uzzledon Clough this would normally have water in all the way here so I'm going to keep bringing up footage that I shot last year just to just to show you the comparison now there's not many photos of the Uzzledon viaduct out there but this one shows the railway uh, still in place and if you didn't know about this railway it was to basically transport the materials and resources up to the buildings of the Howden and Derwent dams I've never been here when it's been this low I think it was the mid 2000s was it when it was the last last as bad as this all right so it's gonna cast you back to last june the water level was just below these wooden things Just take note of that water line that we saw last year, summer 2021. Now, not a not a, any evidence of any of those posts showing any of those uh, concrete foundations, is there, in these shots from last year? And let's fast forward about 13, 14 months. Wooden uh, wooden piers from the old bridge. So. If I remember rightly, looking right across to the other side of the clough, those first set of piers I was able to stand on and they were just slightly out of the water. So here is that view from the other side, looking across to where we've just been filming. And that first far set of piers just sticking out of the water. The rest of these, no, they were completely submerged, not visible. You wouldn't know they was here. So I'm just coming down the banking. I'm learning that motorcycle boots aren't the best for scrambling down hillsides. They're not, not designed for grip. So I'm stood now. My, my head would be beneath the waterline last year when I came. So these 
these stone pillars, it's amazing to think that they spent probably more than 99% of their life underwater. I'm going to be careful because there are warnings of soft mud. There's nine on this side of the banking that's uh, that's still visible. Nine rows, that is. Nine rows of four. I'll keep pressing on because this, I'm just mindful, just being careful around the state of the ground, but it's, yeah, it's, it's solid. I don't think I'm in a, a danger spot here. just after tea I've come a little bit later because I wanted to avoid avoid the crowds so look at that still got a little bit of metal work sticking up out of there it's rusted but it's uh, still pretty well fastened there And that's where the pillars, the pillars stop. We can see them. We can see another three sets on the other side. So this is Uzzled and Clough now, as you can see, completely dried out. You can see the channel that the, the water's made in the bottom, but that's unbelievable. Lost for words. I can tell you, I don't think coming out my motorbike doing my explores is going to be catching on it's a little bit warm in here i did think about leaving but i don't like leaving all my gear and things by my bike going to tend for too long so you can see howden dam just in the distance there just come up a bit Oh yeah, you can get a good panoramic view across where the viaduct was from up here. But I'm still, even though I'm stood all the way up here, I keep arcing back to last time I was here, but I'd still, my head would still be underwater right now. If you've not watched that series, I think it was episode three that I did this section on. Just got another little bridge just in front here. There's quite a, the line kind of curved into the trees here and through the tin town before stopping at the um, stopping at the dam just over there. But there's quite a lot of interesting things to see just um, just in this net little, little section. So if you've not watched those videos, go and go and. Uh, Go and have a look what I'm talking about. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description. Obviously the same story up at Alden as well. Alden Reservoir. But yeah, so from the upper Derwent Valley, from Derwent Reservoir that we're at at the moment, I'll, uh, I'll bid you farewell. So cheers for watching this short little update video, I suppose you could say. Take care and I'll see you soon.